There's a new surge of countries and private companies racing to the moon to find water, a critical resource for use on future lunar missions. Water is the most sought after commodity for sustainable life and exploration on the surface of the moon. Scientists first detected water ice on the moon's south pole in 2008, but new research estimates up to 300 billion tons of water could be tucked away in lunar soil. So tomorrow, India could become the first nation to successfully land an unmanned spacecraft on the moon's south pole just days after Russia's failed lunar mission. The U.S. plans a launch to that same region of the moon, but that is not slated till November. So let's bring in now space communication specialist Alexander Doughton. Alexander, thank you so much for giving us some of your time. First of all, why is there this race to be the first to the moon's south pole specifically? What will that signify? Well, I, I, we know that people have landed on the moon and that there's been countless missions to the moon. So the South Pole is really a new area. And the reason it's so exciting is because it's an area of extremes. There are some really tall mountains and deep craters in the lunar South Pole, which make it a really unique environment. There are areas that are permanently shadowed and areas that receive almost constant sunlight. So these are complete extremes that could provide an entire new area for research in regards to the moon. All right, so Alexander, compare the, the, the South Pole of the moon. What would be the closest comparison here on Earth? Is there anything that would I kind of compare? I think that the closest comparison would have to be the South Pole of Earth or or maybe the North Pole of Earth as well, which also we see these extremes with light as well. Um, but we know that there are a lot of scientific bases in Antarctica because of, of all of this exciting science that can happen there. And similarly, it's going to be a great area of scientific research on the South Pole of the Moon. All right, so, so we talked about water uh, when we intro this. How important is this race to find water? <laughs> It's huge. So as you mentioned, in 2008 is when interest in the lunar south pole really started and water was identified. And so in these permanently shadowed areas, in these craters on the lunar south pole, water ice has been identified. Now, this water can be used in future missions for drinking, for cooling equipment, and potentially someday for rocket fuel for traveling further into the solar system. All right, Alexander, I have to ask you, because you're here, is there a possibility mm -hmm. one day people can live on the moon? Absolutely, and it's going to happen in our lifetime. All right, all right, <laughs> it's as simple as that, in our lifetime. Yes, Wow. All I'm right. confident. <laughs> Alexander Doughton, great speaking with you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.